This is the all-new Community Connection. I'm your host, Jade Harrell, keeping you connected to our community. Well, it is their business to help you with your business, a service core of retired executives. SCORE is a nonprofit association dedicated to helping small businesses get off the ground, grow, and achieve their goals through education and mentorship. And they've been doing so for over 50 years. Whether it's marketing, finance, technology, management, how to run or grow a business, or even just get started, their mentorship and ethically sound business practices can help you with the business advice you need to succeed. These executives have signed up voluntarily to provide levels of expertise expertise and mentorship and consultation. We are privileged today to have one of those great mentors with us. I'm happy to have with me in the studio today, Bob Bowles. Hello, Bob. Hi there. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being who you are and doing what you're doing. How on earth did the idea of bringing retired executives to the table in order to help those new entrepreneurs and business owners come about? Well, you know, Jade, it happened well over 50 years ago when a group of businessmen at at DuPont in Wilmington, Delaware, retired about at the same time. And they were thinking along what we are thinking today, which is how can we help prospective young people get into business? And that's kind of how SCORE started. Mm -hmm. And then SCORE was um, officially, it was franchised, really it started in 1964, uh, as as a, as a um, corporation, but really a, with a group of men in Wilmington, Delaware, mm-hmm. in 1953, sitting around a coffee table, saying, well, we really ought to start something mm-hmm. like this. And at the same time, we got the SBA to sponsor us. That's nice. Yeah. Because, you know, there there are some expenses in having any nonprofit organization. But in order to help boost the economy, I'm sure they saw and realized that there was some value in helping the up and coming. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. One out of every three new one out of every three jobs created in this country is created by small businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's the lifeblood of our of our economy and it's lifeblood of our country. And uh, without it, it, we're in pretty bad shape. And so and so that's what we do is help a small business continue to be successful or help them get started mm-hmm. in business. Well, what brought you to the organization? Well, I went fishing Tell us with a little fr- bit about you. I went fishing with a friend. Of m- I, I retired about eight years ago, mm-hmm. and I was kind of looking around. <laughs> Only eight years ago? Only eight, you yeah, really. You're hanging tight. I was kind of looking around, and I have a, have a really, really good friend, and uh, and he and I went fishing together, and he and I was we were talking about this, and uh, he said, did you ever hear of SCORE? And I'd never heard of SCORE, never, you know. And he said, well, "Why don't you check us out?" And uh, so I went to their membership meeting, and the rest is history. That's how oh, it all yeah. happened. And I've so been, what won you over? Uh, the fact of the opportunity to give back, because I was a small business person for forty some years, mm-hmm. and I had, like most small business people, I had my ups and downs. Sure, a lot, a lot of downs, a lot of ups. And I wanted to share that with with young people going into business today. Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to share the bad stuff as well as the good stuff, mm-hmm. and and head them off bef- at the pass before they f- flamed out. Right. You know, before they because threw all their money quickly, away, before yeah. they threw their family's money away, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It was a matter of really giving back. You know, be- Churchill once said, you know, Churchill's supposed to have said a lot of things, but <laughs> apparently he did say that we work all of our lives to make a living, but we really don't live until we give back. Mm. Well, that's uh, that's very true. I know yeah. that personally. And so for the you joined up right after that. Yeah, I been, how up, long have you been with SCORE? Uh, I've been with SCORE since ni- since 2009. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've been I'm, uh, we have a number of programs that we do. Uh, uh, our outreach program is very active. Uh, and so I'm active with the local outreach program, which is what I'm doing here today, hopefully, is yeah. reaching out. There's a. Um, uh, we're no small organization. There's eleven thousand of us nationwide. Get out! Yeah. So there was no, there was no deficit for volunteers. No, we really don't have any trouble. How we about we that? are always looking for volunteers. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, mm-hmm. and uh, women but as well as with men. Eleven thousand. There well, are. Yeah, it's proven. Well, yeah, and there's three hundred. There's about three hundred uh, chapters of around the country. Good night. We happen to be chapter twenty one, um, and. Uh, 
I think last year, just in our St. Louis area alone, we helped start 500 new businesses. How about that? Just locally. So we're talking startup from ideas. So That's exactly right. From if a they vision, haven't, right. From a vision to opening the door. I love that. So let's talk a little bit more about how you how you help. So let's imagine one of our listeners is thinking of an idea that's been on their heart and, and feels as if they have... Uh, a great opportunity to create a business here in our region. What would be their first step, and then how would you all go about helping? Well, I, I think that I think there are a number of things on that person's mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of them is uh, money, needless to say, and how am I going to finance this business? How am I going to get it off the ground, and so forth? And we would we would advise them on that. Uh, they would see they come to us with a vision, Jade. But they really don't know where to go from that point Who on. Does? So we give yeah. them a step by step one, two, three, four, and we don't have an agenda. We're not. We don't charge for our services. Mm-hmm. So what we tell them is what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. And they're talking to to folks who are experienced and have knowledge, right? Who've been there and done that. So that's one of the things is money. The other is what can I be doing now? You know to to, to, to go into business and be successful, mm-hmm. uh, what, are the, what is the very first thing I should be doing? If, you know, from, from like a, a total startup with nothing, right. um, what can I be doing now? The cool thing is that that question can be asked today because what stops and paralyzes many people about even approaching the idea of starting their business is I don't have or I still need. Mm-hmm. I think it's really exciting that we can say, doesn't matter. That's right. But we, and we really can say that. And we really can say that. In, and so in many, our, yeah, and yeah. there's so many resources right there available to that person. I mean, SCORE is only one of them, but there are, and there, but there are many, many other ways. So we strongly recommend they attach themselves to a mentor mm-hmm. and, and, and let that mentor be the, on their board of directors for life. Look at that. See? Well, you see, I got my hooks in you, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have. I have, but um, it, and it has been invaluable. Well, let's go into it a little deeper. What is the most important activity that a business person, an entrepreneur, can be doing to prepare to go into business for themselves? Well, of course, the first thing is he need, he, he or she needs to, to attach himself to somebody already in there the business. Go. Don't go out here yeah. alone. You don't, don't have to. You don't have to. There's mm-hmm. just too much, too much out there. Uh, reach out for help, most most important. Uh, what can they be doing right now? They can be doing working for somebody in the business. Work mm-hmm. for free if you have to to really learn the business and particularly learn the sales and financial end of the business. Oh, why the emphasis on sales and finances? Because if I haven't even started... That's what why the emphasis of sales and finances. I well, love the because answer. There's a, there's some some reasons why small businesses fail, Jade. Mm-hmm. Probably the most and pretty important, quickly they do. and very quickly they do it, and it's it's called money, and you know, and so it's important that they if, if they're getting ready to go into business, um, that they understand financials, financials, and um, they pr- they prepare themselves in a way that by by networking. By going into work for the for the business that's already in existence, um, to know as much about that business as possible. Um, for example, we, one of our one of our very close um, score contacts is a man that lives here in St. Louis, and he, when he was sixteen, he when he was sixteen he flipped flipped hamburgers mm-hmm. for McDonald's. When he, when he was still in his thirties, he owned six McDonald's franchises. Look at that. True story. Mm-hmm. And when asked, and of course he had no money, and when asked why, it's because I read everything and I know everything about how to make a McDonald's franchise operate. So when I went, got ready to buy a franchise, I had no money. Mm-hmm. So when I got ready to, to, to buy one that was available, I knew everything about it. Can't and on that. my business plan, I could show metrics. I could mm-hmm. show, well, I have done this, this, and this. And, of course, they're going to loan money to somebody who can produce. That's right. I've learned that one of the key questions on a loan app is what experience do you have? Yeah. How did, can you assure that you will be successful at this? Absolutely. Because that's an investment. Absolutely. And you say, well, I watched some TV. I saw a show about it. That's not going to quite pan out, even on Shark Tank. So, <laughs> so yeah, the speak. banks have funny. They're funny about this, but they like to be paid back. Well, you know. you know. And on your business plan, the most important part of that is... 
How am I going to pay you back? The uh-huh. marketing aspect, sales and marketing, sales and marketing, sales and Very good. You know, many many young kids are told, well, you must be, you do this really well. You ought to go into business mm-hmm. for yourself. Mm-hmm. Or you're a good cook. You ought to open up a restaurant. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. But then you still got to get somebody to open the door and come in and give you some money. Right. You know, and so that's where we can help. We, uh, we, we, we head them off if they don't, we don't feel like it's going to work for them. Mm-hmm. But what can they be doing now? They can be, for example, they can be establishing good credit. Right. Uh, because they're, when you do go to borrow. Yeah. I talked to a college you class can't yesterday. You fix that overnight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I talked to a college class yesterday, and I suggested, you know, that one of the things you can do is establish credit and, and open up a credit card. Or get a credit card. Well, of course, they. some of them, I mean, I, I'm not sure which, what the rules are, how old you have to be, but mm-hmm. I think it's by by the credit well, card company. As soon I think as I got to college, they were sending out. Yeah, so you know, sure. these kids were in college. They were college too. age, yeah. And so, uh, get a credit card, and this doesn't mean you got to load it up immediately, but use it sparingly. But well, the most important thing is when you got a credit card, you you showing some credit, some, some credit responsibility, mm-hmm. and most important, of course, pay it pay your bills on time, and that gets you prepared to. So when you do go to the man to borrow money. He sees, oh, okay, you know, and so it, uh, it's much more likely to get it. Mm-hmm. But I guess, you know, you information and knowledge of the product is is so, so, so important. That's and that's right. what, you just can't know enough. So I want to touch on this knowledge part, the wisdom and experience of a retired executive a little bit more. So there are lots of resources. They even have what they call an entrepreneurial ecosystem that exists here in our in our region. Talk about the extra advantage of partnering with SCORE. You get a, a business professional who has knowledge and experience. That's what you've got already. Mm-hmm. Who is Who can counsel you and mentor you step by step by step on your journey. Every step. Every step on your journey. And this mentor, again, does not have an agenda. You know, and, and we see that a lot of times we can, uh, young people attach themselves, they, 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 they attach themselves to somebody who they like real well, mm-hmm. you know, and that person is telling them what they want to hear, not mm-hmm. what they need to hear. Right. So, so. What, so I can count on that level of honesty and authenticity for my score mentor to tell me whether or not I like it, whether or not it makes sense. That's right. We're going to tell you whether you, it's right. We're going to tell you what you want, what you need to hear. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's just so many ways you're going to, you know, we have folks that come to us that are doing really, really well. Mm-hmm. And it's time for expansion, and that's a dangerous time. Yeah. When you're really doing well, that can be a dangerous time. So let's mm-hmm. stop. Take us, you know, call your car, score mentor or another mentor and say, I need some help. And What's the risk? Let's go ahead and spell out what is that danger. That danger is that you would overinvest. That danger is you would overexpand. You might often open up more offices than you need to open up. You may take on more help than you need to take on. Uh, it could be that you do need to take on more help. So you get counseling that way. Right. So those are a real couple of days. In other words, of overspending, you got all this income coming in, but it can evaporate in a hurry oh, if yeah. you don't. Oh, yeah. If you don't really be careful. Mm-hmm. What I hear you say is that if you're expanding and growing, it's going to be imperative that your foundation be firm and Absolutely. Place. So those are the things you want to take care of now before you come top with. The I'm real success of fit people that SCORE, deal, that SCORE works with all over the country are the people who attach themselves to a SCORE mentor and stick with them. That you know, and Because there's so many times you'd like to call – the small business person would like to call and say, I, I've, got, I've had uh, an advertising agent call, or an advertising person call on me with a local newspaper, mm-hmm. and they want me to buy some ads in the paper. Can, you, can we sit down and have coffee and talk about that? Wow. That's, yeah, that's so, great. so important. That's because that score mentor may say, he, will bring something, he or she will bring something to the table that the owner of the business, mm-hmm. I hadn't even thought about. It. I hadn't even thought. That's so, right. you know what else is that? Because you all work with so many different people, you're also not only going to bring your own experiences, but the experience from the help that you've done before. That's correct. So, as a mentor, 
there'll be some things to oh, share. Oh, yeah, we learn a lot more than, yes, yeah. we learn a lot. I bet, I bet, and can apply that to even greater levels of success for your your individuals and their businesses. Well, I'm sold, and I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping that this recruitment effort and information sharing will also bring to mind that SCORE is here to help you. And SCORE St. Louis has many different offerings, many different locations, and definitely a flexible opportunity for you to meet. So if you're thinking about a business, if you're ready to grow your business, or if you're just, man, you don't have a mentor, you just can't be out there uncovered. I recommend, Bob recommends that you give SCORE a call. It's no cost to you. They're a nonprofit organization and their business is helping you with your business. That's right. That's Bob, great. tell us how they can find out more, how they can connect with you all and get going on their success journey. Our, our website, Jade, is S-T-L-O-U-I-S dot score dot org. Mm-hmm. St. Louis dot score dot org. Our phone number is 314-569-6602. stlewis.score.org or 314-569-6602, or both. <laughs> or both. That's correct. But get signed up. They are available for you, and you have nothing at all to lose but everything to gain. Absolutely. Bob Bowles, one of the retired executives of SCORE, Service Corps of Retired Executives here. Retired. You're not tired of us. <laughs> no, I'm not tired of it at all. Here in the St. Louis chapter, we thank you, Bob. You're welcome, and thank you for having me on. Absolutely. Success to all of you. All right, that's it for this week. If you have questions or comments or have something you'd like to include in the community calendar, you can leave a message on our message box at 314-333-8369, 314-333-8369. And for more information about our show or any of our guests, you can visit us online and listen to the podcast at Spreaker.com. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. And search Community Connection with Jade Harrell. You all be blessed, do blessed, and take care. 